playing with a few things and wanted to show you something really quick. A split hinge is one of the variations I like to coach from a hinge perspective first to kick things off. And one thing you may notice when you're setting up your hinge or a lunge that's really common is kind of almost like this sachet. So it's like our, if I have my left foot forward, I'm kind of like hanging out and my left hip is kind of out to the side. So in this position, when I go to hinge, I might see that I'm kind of like pushing this side out. So a couple cues that I recently learned that I think can be really helpful in this instance is to think about kind of rooting through your big toe and almost pushing your knee straight. So sometimes when we're like this, our knee collapses in. So kind of pushing that knee out, but keeping big toe contact and then taking this back hand and sort of rooting your hip down so you're kind of almost unhiking the hip and just holding that position, leveling out the pelvis. You might even feel your glute turn on right. So when you're in that left foot forward position, Hey guys, just been playing with a few things and wanted to show you something really quick. A split hinge is one of the variations I like to coach from a hinge perspective first to kick things off. And one thing you may notice when you're setting up your hinge or a lunge that's really common is kind of almost like this sachet. So it's like our, if I have my left foot forward, I'm kind of like hanging out and my left hip is kind of out to the side. So in this position, when I go to hinge, I might see that I'm kind of like pushing this side out. So a couple cues that I recently learned that I think can be really helpful in this instance is to think about kind of rooting through your big toe and almost pushing your knee straight. So sometimes when we're like this, our knee collapses in. So kind of pushing that knee out, but keeping big toe contact and then taking this back hand and sort of rooting your hip down. So you're kind of almost unhiking the hip and just holding that position, leveling out the pelvis. You might even feel your glute turn on right. So when you're in that left foot forward position, and this might be a good instance where I put a band kind of on the outside to give me a little bit of abduction. So I'm thinking about keeping that knee kind of pointed towards like the second and third toe and staying grounded through the foot. And I'm kind of almost, sash, you know, unsashaying my hip so I'm almost unhiking it slightly and then having that abduction. So then I have a spot to lengthen from. I can feel that glute working. So that's one scenario where having the band on the outside of the leg can be really helpful is if kind of you're someone who tends to kind of kind of push that hip out to the side. So I'll have a post on this tomorrow or when I get to it, but thinking about kind of unrooting that or unhiking and kind of even just holding in this position, keeping that knee pointed towards the second and third toe, you're going to feel this side glute working pretty intensely if you're used to not using that muscle for your hip.